What's up, you two? Today, I'm going to be doing an average of 100 on my worst 3x3. Three three. This is not my uh, idea. It's actually inspired by cubing and coding, so credit to him. Anyways, the, my worst cube, my worst 3x3 three three in my entire collection is this Shang Shao 3x3, three three, which I got four years ago. It's really bad, as you can see. It's slow. It walks up a ton. Corner cutting is terrible, and it pops, there's barely any reverse cutting, so I decided to do an average of 100 on this cube to see how well it performs. So now I will be doing my first solve on this shit 3x3, three three. so here we go. <coughs> Alright, so that is a 22, I mean a 20.24, which is terrible. Then I'll be coming back after I do an average of 5. Alright, so I've done my average of 5, and I got a 16.73 average. So I got 316, 117, and 120. So that all resulted in a 16.73 average. Alright, so now I'm on my 12th solve, so here we go. It better be a good one. Okay, so that is a 14.53. It's my best solve of the session. Best out of the mean of 3, average of 5, and average of 12. So my current average of 5 is a 15.31, and average of 12 is a 16.25. It's pretty good for this terrible 3x3. Three three. Alright, so I've done 24 solves, and I got a new PB. So it's a 13.25 as you can see here, and I got an, a new uh, average of 5, a new mean of 3, and an average of 12. For the mean of 3 is a 14.89, average of 5, 14.81, and for average of 12, 15.43. So let's see how the 25th solve goes. Alright, so that's terrible. A 17.67. Alright, so now I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be coming back after I do another 25 grueling solve. Alright, so that's a plus two. Because I stopped the timer before I made a turn. So that's an 18.79. So I got a new PB. A 12.05, just pretty good for this bad 3x3. My first set 13. My new mean of 3 is a 13.97. Average of 5, 14.70. And a average of 12, 15.43. I'll be coming back to you at after the 75th solve. Right, so that's a 13.01. And I actually got a sub 12. It was an 11.77, which is really good. My mean of 3 is a 13.08 for a PB. My PB average of 5 is now a 13.43. And my PB average of 12 is a 14.89. So 
and I actually did get a pop, but it wasn't like an edge piece popping out. It's actually a center, uh, it's actually a corner cap. So the corner cap popped out, and then I put it back in, and then I got like a 12 something, I don't know. And I'll be coming back to you after I do my 95th solve, and then I'll be filling my average of 5. Alright, it's 16.52. I haven't broken any PBs yet. Well, I've done my 95 solve, and I did get a pop, and that resulted in a 21. The edge popped out, and that resulted in a 21, which is my worst solve of the session. So I have 5 more solves until I complete my average of 100. Right, 12.46, so I have 99 solves in total, now I'm going to be doing my last solve of the average of 100, and I suppose it's a good one. Alright, a 13.59 is the last solve of the session, and my average of 100 is a 15.96, which is close to a 16. So the average of 100 is really good for this terrible 3x3, because on this 3x3, I normally get like high sub 20s or like uh, sub 30s around those kind of times. Because of how terrible it is, I get lots of pops. Get lots of catches, etc., etc. But this average of 100 is really good. And throughout the times, I get pretty fast. Normally, because I turn so smoothly and I did not put like too much pressure on it. So, yeah, guys, that is it for my video on doing an average of 100 on my worst 3x3. Three three. So, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.